How frequently do you spend time in nature? Is it something you enjoy doing occasionally? Connecting with nature reminds me of its immense power and the care it provides us, so I'm planning to spend a couple of days in the mountains. Show me a way out, give me a side of the story. Throw me a rope here, I've drifted way too far. I see it sometimes behind those kind eyes. Nature offers numerous benefits to us. Fortunately, we now have a wealth of data demonstrating how nature can rejuvenate us, provide mental clarity, and renew our spirits. Medical studies have proven that spending time in nature has a positive impact on both our physical and mental health. Other studies have shown that time spent in nature can enhance creativity and encourage selflessness. Can we consider these benefits as part of the solution for navigating the challenges of climate change and political division and promoting coexistence on our planet? Perhaps it's not the entire solution, but a fundamental aspect. I genuinely believe it is. The concept that nature has the power to transform us in so many positive ways makes me contemplate that this could be the key to even saving the world. Sitting in a chair surrounded by green leaves and grass, whether in the forest, mountains, public park, or my garden, brings me back to what my brain was wired for, feeling connected to nature. One of my favorite parts of camping is to sit near the fire and look up at the sky full of stars. It's gorgeous and delivers a sense that we are all just tiny particles of a much bigger world. Our modern day lives could use this. A reminder that we are not all self-consumed and that everything is not all about us. If this planet decides, everything can be gone tomorrow. Every year, my husband and I take a couple of days to visit one of our favorite mountain areas. And what is interesting to me is that every year, I get this feeling that makes me smile. The same big trees still there welcoming us to hang the hammocks and enjoy the view. The same mountains that were here a thousand years before us. The same gorgeous flowers come back again in June. And I am also still here, enjoying this life hiking, reading books in the hammock, and sharing precious time on Earth with my loved ones. There is so much wisdom in the air, and it is so peaceful here, even in the stormy weather. I really mean we have to put them on the force. You get my drift? We, the undesirables.
Nature does not care what you achieve in your urban life, but takes care of your soul. That is why we crave time spent in nature. I can't recall ever discussing work or negative thoughts with my husband while we were camping. When disconnected from urban life, our brains happily focus on more minor, healthier things often overlooked amidst daily problems. Take your kids to the forest and spend the night in the tent with them. Trust me, this will be the best time they ever spend with you and will be in their memory forever. Maybe consider doing this before they turn 10 or before they are fully exposed to electronics. But seriously, think about it. Who else will show them the beauty of nature if not a mom and dad or maybe grandparents? Where else can you talk about anything without distraction? Who else will teach them to make a fire? I still remember my granddad every time I make a campfire. Isn't it fun to go collect wood for fire together? I can continue here forever. I'm sure you got the point. Nature is a source of joy and peace that we all need. What if we do not always have time to go camping or hike? Or physically, is it simply not an option? What can we do then? We can still benefit from spending time in nature by simply walking in the public park or sitting on a bench or the balcony of our apartment. Do not underestimate the power of physically connecting with the earth. Take off your shoes and socks and let your feet sink into the grass or feel the sun touching your skin. It's a fantastic experience to feel the ground beneath your bare feet. Plant something in a pot with your hands and you will be surprised how suddenly you care about this little green thing. There are a lot of very simple things we can do. Think about everything you did as a kid outside the house or school. Think about why your dog's favorite part of their day is to go on a walk. Nothing complicated, right? Nature is always there, waiting for us to connect with it and it's simpler than we think.